So generally, you know, in our life, that when, when we see angry people, when we see in the families, in relationship, somebody uh, ha have anger issues, what we, what we do? We get angry at them, right? Do we do that or not? <laughs> but we are definitely more, ang we are more aware of their anger, not our anger. That makes sense, and it's kind of hidden. Also, we kind of very, very secretly, it's okay to get angry at them, but they're not supposed to get angry at anybody else, right? It's kind of very strange. They're angry. They're not good people. They're angry, and you you say those things even just right in front of your mouth is saying those things. But you're not hearing it, you're not feeling it, you're not understanding anything. You think it's kind of very, very normal, ordinary things to do. But when we, in, during the practice, and it's always like a, in these teachings, for example, many, many of these mantras start with the ah, us ah symbolizes the awareness. And in fact, this all the six realms. Means ah is kind of antidote for all of them. That sense of ah is the is the space, is the awareness. Awareness is antidote of all of things. And each of these awareness, the awareness kind of allows each the, each of these quality, in this case, awareness allows the love. So when you're aware of it, and then it allows the love, right? That makes sense? So like a short practice, what we did is first, it's not about analyzing anybody. It's just more going inside oneself. The antidote for everything is the self-realization. So it's the just connecting to your body, remember? Connecting to your body, I know. Like maybe you, some of you are tired of this hearing this stillness <laughs> thing, you know. <laughs> no. Okay, so you just be prepared for that. Yeah, this will. <laughs> <laughs> this will never end. <laughs> because the stillness is the door through which. The experiences of space embodying your body, the sense of you, your body, your identity, it's more space. How you gain that space, if you're still, then only you're going to gain that space. If, if you don't feel the still, forget about space. If no space, forget about love. F if no love, forget about activity of love. That's, that's it's just very simple rules there. And then every practice, that's exactly what we're doing, is just trying to connect with ourselves. Because we don't do that, right? We, we, we disconnect ourselves, but we want everybody to connect. So, so in this practice, when you do that, then you feel your, you feel your body is different. You feel your, you are different. You feel your voice is different. You feel your awareness is different. You feel your warmth is different. It's more open. You feel different. Then from that place, that's called self-transformation. I mean, you can sing the mantra. You can visualize. But you can do all of those things. If that doesn't happen, nothing is happening. Right? If you feel shift in you, and from that place, then you're looking at some specific things. 